I've been creating a few videos using VO3 lately. In case what? They came with subtitles I never asked for. So in this video, I show you how to get rid of them. Imagine the following scenario. You create a cool video using an AI platform, add a narrator, and suddenly subtitles appear where the narrator is speaking. Often, these unsolicited subtitles are even misspelled. That's twice as unfortunate. Is there a trick to preventing these texts from appearing in videos, despite voice output? Yes and no. Let's start by writing a very detailed prompt in ChatGPT in step one. Trick one is relatively simple. Remove the quotation marks that ChatGPT used to mark the speaker's text. Does that always work? No. I get the impression that the VO3 platform, which is the one I'm talking about here, requires a bit of luck. As you can see here, I was obviously lucky. Hence, no subtitles. Trick two is pretty trivial. Don't get annoyed, just accept it and use the right tools. Since a video is not a file with multiple layers, like in Photoshop, you can't just click on the affected layer and delete the text. You are forced to seek AI support. And that's exactly what I did. I conducted extensive research on the internet to evaluate various tools. So you don't have to do that. Let me start by saying that my research was not exclusively focused on free offers, but on the fact that the tool works at all. You can find the list of different options below in the description. A request to you in this context, take a thorough look at the individual tools and test them before you subscribe or buy the software. You should also keep the following in mind. Some providers require you to download a software package and install it on your computer. Only do this if you are absolutely sure that the provider is reputable. And yes, don't forget to check the download with your virus scanner. For this tutorial, I tested seven different AI tools. We'll start with the solution from media.io. On the AI tools page, you'll find the video watermark remover at the bottom right. Click on it and you'll be redirected to this page. Here you can upload your video. Now move the slider to the part of the video where the subtitles appear. Next, select the area of the video you want to optimize. You can define the brush size in the top right corner. Set it so that the text can be painted over easily, not too delicate or too large. Activate the Select tab in the top right corner and mark, simply paint over, the area with the cursor so that the text is removed. Then click on Remove Objects Now. The next tool can be found at 123 Apps. Click on Open File, select a video, and then load it into this application. You will see Remove Logo in the upper left corner, so you've come to the right place. Use the crosshair cursor to mark the area in the video with this mask. As you can easily see, this solution is rather unfavorable, as instead of a clear video, we get a box with this cross hatching. But that's no good to me because it has a significant negative impact on the video. This is something you tend to see on TV broadcasts when video material from other TV stations is used. The next AI tool is a paid solution from Hitpaw. I have already uploaded my video here. In the so called AI video watermark remover, you then take this box and simply place it where the text is. You can also set the duration here. Then click on Preview or Export and the AI does its work. I find the next tool very interesting, also in terms of price. Click on Upload Video, and it is ready for editing. Here too, you take the box and place it where the text is. Then click on Remove Now. Of course, you can also do this with the brush. Simply set the brush size and mark the areas in the video individually. You could also select the text Huge Fan. As for the price, as I said at the beginning, just see what's possible. There is also a free plan available. Alternatively, I have two other solutions. One is the online watermark remover Pickwish from a PowerSoft. Here you have to download and install an app via this button. The same applies to Wondershare. This is the so-called AI video object remover. Click on this button to start the download. The provider advertises the following results. You can remove people, text, logos, or even watermarks. The most attractive solution for me is Runway because this feature is part of my subscription and I don't have to pay extra for it. 
simply click on All Tools in the navigation bar on the left, then select the large blue In Painting video box and upload your video here. I've done this in advance and jumped straight to the part of the video where the text is visible. As with the other platforms, you can switch between Include and Exclude and adjust the brush size. I'll select Include and now mark the area to be replaced in the editor. The key thing about Runway, at least in this setting, is that the area you mark is immediately re-rendered. You can see the result almost instantly. This is actually very helpful. If we move further to the right in the timeline, we can check whether everything has been selected correctly. At this point, we can see that some text elements are still visible. Go back to your selection and expand it a little. This gives Runway the opportunity to do a better job of cleaning up the video. Then click on Done in Painting and export the movie. Don't be surprised, it takes a little while to complete. We then get this result. Mid journey. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, this tool is included in my subscription. I don't have to buy anything extra or download data packages. I can use a professional tool from one of the major providers. Very cool. Let me now briefly show you how you can use VO3 without Google. Since Google prohibits the use of VO3 via Gemini or Flow in many countries, you have to find an alternative way. I must admit that I cannot understand why Google is pursuing such a restrictive policy. Even in Google AI Studio, you can only use the VO2 model. AI enthusiasts who want to work with video must therefore look for alternative platforms. I have found a few, including OpenArt. When you visit their website, you will see a selection of video models, one of which is VO3. The second is Crea AI. Here too, we find the VO3 model under video. And finally, there's Fal AI. But $6 for eight seconds is pretty steep. I asked the colleagues at Fal for a better price. The answer came the very next day and was, if you spend more than $10,000 a month, they're willing to talk about a discount. To be honest, I have to say that's a bit unrealistic for me, to put it bluntly, and probably for you too. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and recommend it to others. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.